going to do the twins back to school clothing haul. We went back to school shopping for the twins. There are so many clothes here, I couldn't even lay them out. Every year before school, there are a lot of really good back to school sales, so I always take advantage of that. And although I always buy them things that they need throughout the year, I stock up on lots of like shirts and shorts and pants when I can, when all these good sales are going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got for the twins for back to school this year. And you're going to notice that most, if not all of these things are matching. And that is because right now the twins will fight over shirts if they don't have the same exact one. And if I put a shirt on Kaden or put a shirt on Kaisen, the other one expects to have the same thing. So if I don't have two of something, it usually turns into a fight. It can turn into a fight unless I just tell them to dress themselves and they figure it out. But for the most part, they prefer to wear the same clothes most days. So I do get two of everything in case that is the case for that particular day, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna wear the same shirt every day. It kinda just depends, and if it's like a character shirt, that's when they'll mostly fight over it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got them this year. I think in total I got them like 11 different shirts each, and then like three pairs of shorts, or four pairs of shorts, and then two pairs of pants. So that's just what we got so far, and over all of this stuff, you'll see how much stuff we got. Anyway, I'll try to explain it as I go along and we'll just kind of go from there. I'm just gonna lay out the different outfits that I got. I got more shirts than I did bottoms, so I might have to double up on them, but this will make it easier to show you guys that I got them and explain where I got it and how much I got it for if I can remember. <laughs> like I said, I did double up on everything, if not almost everything. So this shirt we got from the children's place and this one was actually, I'm pretty sure I got it on sale for like $10 or something. So we got two of those. With the twins, it's hard sometimes because they are shaped so differently. Kaden is tall and very skinny and Kaisen is just average height and he's kind of stocky. So it is like a never ending problem to find pants and shorts that fit Kaden correctly. They're either way too baggy or way too short. And then for his shirts, his torso is so long that he needs a bigger size, but they end up being kind of baggy. All shirts and shorts and pants fit a little bit differently depending on the brand, so I just kind of eyeballed each brand and then kind of went from there. So this particular brand, both of them are in a 5T. This is from the children's place and I want to say that I got this on sale for like $10. And then these shorts I got, I guess these little rolly shorts are in style, I've seen them a lot and they have they don't have any yet. So these are a 4T for Kaden and, and then this is a 5-6 for Kaisen. And I believe these are actually from Sears. Moving on to the next outfit, I love the Arizona brand from JCPenney and all of their shirts were on sale for I think it was $6. So these are two shirts that I got. I got a five for both of them in this particular size, but these are normally $14. I got them on sale for six. And then these shorts run really big. These are from the children's place. I tried them on them and Kaden needed, it was pushing getting him at 18 to 24. I could have fit him into a 12 month but 18 to 24 for him and then I got a 2T for Kaisen. The difference between 18 to 24 and the 2T, and what I've noticed is that the 2T is mostly just like a little bit longer, sometimes it's a little bit wider, it's just a, fits a little bit differently than like a 24 months does. So this one would be for Kaden and this one would be for Kaisen and like I said, these are from the children's place. This whole outfit is from Sears, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, this one will be for Kaisen, it is a size five and this one would be for Kaden which is a size Four. So those are Kaden's, those are Kaisen's. Kaden's shirt is a size small, which is a four, and Kaisen's shirt is a size medium, which is a five, six. So as you can see, it's just a little bit differently size-wise. Moving on to the next outfit. These, again, these shirts are from Sears, and I think I, I got them both a four. And then these pants are both from Children's Place. I usually buy my bottoms from Children's Place. I like the quality, and they're usually pretty cheap. However, I can never get Kaisen and Kaden the same style because Kaden is so skinny, he needs skinny jeans for them to even fit him normally. <laughs> and Kaisen can't fit in the skinny jeans because they'll hug him like leggings. So over time, I've just come to realize that they almost never have matching jeans. <laughs> the colors will be like slightly off because of the fit. It's hard to find the exact shade of matching pants unless they're like a gray or a tan in different styles. Kaden is in a skinny and Kaisen is 
the straight fit and their jeans a lot of the time they'll have their jeans on sale for seven dollars i want to say that that's the sale that they had when i went Sometimes they're $10, but either way, they're usually pretty cheap. These shirts, again, are the Arizona brand from JCPenney, and like I said, those were all on sale for $6 when I went, but these are the Cherokee brand, and Kaden has a 3T, and Kyson has a 4T, and the 3T on Kaden is gonna be a bit big, but I'm hoping that throughout the year, he will grow into it a little better. <laughs> he already has size 2 T tan shorts, so I just went ahead and bought him a three. But these are both, again, Arizona brand from JCPenney. They're $6. I, I believe I got each one of these in A5, but I just love the style of these, and I really like the quality of them. I still have Arizona shirts that I bought for them last year that they wear still today. I just picked up a bunch of different styles that I liked from there for this year as well. Lots of bright colors here. The twins actually picked out both of these. They really, 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 really wanted the pink shirt, so boys can wear pink too that just makes you more manly <laughs> so they got their pink shirts and they really liked the bright colors on this shirt as well these are again both Arizona JC Penny six dollars going through the clothes I actually found one more pair of pants and these are from JC Penny also their Levi's these I believe were not on sale but they were too cute to pass up I got them each in a 4T and they fit very nice on both of them they these are 100% the twins picked these out I couldn't tell them no because they were so excited about them got these from the children's place they are a size small. They are going to be a little bit baggy on them because they don't generally go up into those kinds of sizes. But since it is 100% cotton, I'm hoping that they're going to shrink when I wash it. They saw this and they freaked and this just happened to jump on our cart too. Of course, every child needs a new pair of shoes with the start of the school year. I got them Vans this year and I don't normally get them Vans. I don't normally shop at that store. But we found shoes there that they really liked and I really liked the price because they were on sale. I just wanted to point out how funny this is. Look, this is Caden's shoe size and this is Kyson's shoe size. And the thing is, with the size that they're in now, it is nearly impossible to find them matching shoes because Kyson is in a size 10 and Kaden is in a size 11 and a half. And most brands, the baby size goes up to like 10 or 10 and a half and then they stop that style unless that particular brand carries that style into the kid size shoe so Kaden is in a kid size shoe and Kyson is still in a toddler size shoe but their feet a lot of people have talked about how big Kaden's feet look and I promise you I am not buying shoes that are too big for his feet these actually fit him and it's ridiculous Kyson's as you can see look like that and then Kaden's look similar but since Kaden is in the kid size shoe and Kyson is in technically the toddler size shoe Kyson's are velcro whereas Kaden's actually tie so luckily we found shoes that matched in completely different sizes especially at the van store but Kaden I think found this pattern first they're both really obsessed with sharks actually all the kids are really obsessed with, sh with sharks right now especially since we went to the beach I liked these because they were on sale so that of course I couldn't say no to so as you can see they're normally $37 and they were on sale for $25 Kaisen's might have been a little bit cheaper since they're technically like the toddler baby style shoe it's just funny because this might be the only year where they're actually in completely different categories for shoes so these are the shoes that we got them for the school year they do have other pairs of shoes but I like to get them at least one new pair of shoes that will kind of last them hopefully through most of the school year if they don't grow too much. So these are again from the van store. Like I said, I got them on sale. Last but not least, their backpacks, of course, they each picked these out. I got these both from Amazon for super cheap. Kaden picked out Spider-Man, of course, and Kyson picked out Batman, of course. That's like their typical go-to thing. If you ask them what do you want as far as character-wise, 99% of the time, they're gonna pick these characters. Kyson will sometimes say Hulk instead of Batman. For the most part, Kaden is the Spider-Man boy and Kyson is the Batman boy. So that made it super easy to find backpacks for them on Amazon. And I think Kaden's was like $15 and Kyson's was like $18, both super cheap. And we have Amazon Prime, so we got it in two days. So that was nice. The quality of these are just really nice. And I like that these ones have a lot more pockets than their ones from last year did. So Kyson has pockets here. And there, and then Caden has a pocket here, here, and there, and then a cup holder on the side, and then another little pocket here. But they got these today in the mail. They were ecstatic. They did not want to take them off. And as far as school supplies goes for the boys, their preschool provides everything that they need, so we don't have to actually go shopping for, like, 
crayons or notebooks or paper or anything like that. So that pretty much sums up all of the school shopping that I did for the twins for their second year of preschool. I know I've gotten a lot of questions on like if they're going to kindergarten yet. In California, and I'm not sure if this is the same everywhere, you have to be five before you can start kindergarten. They are four now and they will turn five in March, so that means that next year they will be in kindergarten. So they do have one more year of preschool, their second year of preschool. Lilia did the same thing. She also had two years of preschool. They are just super excited to go back to school. I know I'm super excited to have them back in school. The only other thing that I might get for them this year is probably a jacket for school, but for the most part, pretty much year round in California, you almost never need a jacket, especially since they are an afternoon class. They do have several jackets already, so I don't know. I might just get them one if I happen to see like a cute one that's on sale. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have a school haul for Lilia coming up in the next couple days. So give me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. I don't normally do hauls. And other than that, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for our next VEDA video. Bye. 25 weeks and four days today. I'm almost in the third trimester. Probably just because I'm so busy with like a million kids running around all the time. Full engorged breasts and I'm realizing that that's gonna be my reality.